What's going on guys? All right, so I've got the base and the mirror done. I've also done a seam on the inside here, all right? So I've done an extra piece on the inside here because we have to do this piece first. I'll actually show you it so that you can see what I've done. So I use knifeless tape just in a line like that. So as you can see, when we close the mirror, it's gonna fall somewhere like that. And as long as it's nice and straight, it'll look good. You can see the bottom here on the inside. We've got it wrapped in there a little bit. It is a black mirror, so we don't have to wrap crazy deep on the inside. And then as far as the underside goes, we're kind of about there, all right? So we're gonna do the rest of this in one piece, or at least gonna try. And I'm gonna show you how. So. I've got my piece of material cut a lot, quite a bit larger than the size, but I want to make sure that I'm getting good, a good amount of film around the mirror. That way, I uh, got a little grease on there because I touched it. Good around, a good around amount of film around the mirror. That way, I can make sure I have full coverage because this is going to be a large piece. I just heated it up there to dry the alcohol, and we're going to go for this. All right, so I'm going to put the mirror up and it's gonna actually probably help a little bit as long as the mirror will stay this way. It's gonna allow me to see the bottom better and, and the top at the same time. Not, not all mirrors will do this. So I'm going to try to keep that from folding, but it will. And I'm gonna heat it up and I'm gonna work from this end back. The point of failure on most mirrors is the very tip of the mirror. So we're going to take the film and give it one hell of a pull, alright? We need, we need this film to run across the top like this so that we can shrink it back, alright? This might not be even enough yet, let's see. So let's just kind of heat it up. Might have too much slack. I've got a bit too much still, so I'm gonna do it again. And then from there, we're gonna glass it all out. Once we get all these wrinkles out, and I'll show you. Oh, I ripped it, that's strange. Avery doesn't usually rip like that. It had a hole in it, it's weird. All right, got another piece, don't worry, we're good. Let's do this again. So generally get it where I need it. I'm about three to four inches past that tip, this end of the mirror. Maybe it's gonna help a little bit better if I do it like this first. I thought it might help the other way, but I don't know if it's going to. So. This is our tension line right here. This is where most of the stretch is gonna come across, right? The vinyl should be stretching, stretching, stretching so that this can follow, this can follow in, all right? So I'm gonna hold it more around the top and I'm gonna heat it. And then we're gonna go for it, all right? We're gonna have to shrink it all back, obviously. But what I want to do is make sure, make sure I don't have any wrinkles like that in there. Okay. I'm gonna hold it out. So we got we got some pretty good coverage as far as coming around the mirror goes. We need to just glass out these wrinkles. So I'm gonna come underneath, fix that one up a little bit. And I'm probably gonna do this one and go from here. And I'm just gonna come across and stretch it a bit. Nothing crazy, all right? Just enough to get the wrinkles out. I don't wanna to add too much tension here. The whole purpose of this is to not add too much tension on, on the very tip of the mirror. So now that we've done this, I'm going to, I want to 
come back a little bit and reset it. And then just kind of help it across once more. This way I put a little bit less tension on the mirror. And there would be a lot less tension on the edges here because now we've shrunk them. Oh, this, is a, this is a super fun mirror. So, all right, so we're pretty good. We're pretty good here. Right now it's just a matter of working the material around, all right? So what I want to do is I'm going to start on this end. And look, the material's actually just shrinking to the mirror. Cool? That's exactly what you want. You want to shrink that material to the mirror before we go ahead and stretch it again. I'm going to start assisting it underneath without adding too much stretch. And I'm going to come to the top and shrink it down again here because the top's pretty much done. There's no pullback on the edges, guys. Zero. The next step is to make sure that there's no pullback over on this edge. So we just gotta, I just heat a little bit so it gives me some pliability and some workability with the film. And then we go over it. I find that Avery itself doesn't stick all that well to itself. If you feel like you need to use a bit of seam tape, then you can go ahead and use some seam tape. It's just a clear tape that you can pick up uh, I think Feller's, Feller sells it and stuff like that, I think. I've never bought it from uh, Feller's before, but I buy it from Grimco in Canada. I believe they're also a US based company. All right, but I could be wrong about that too. All right, so we're gonna come down and keep working the film in, in a bit, all right? We don't wanna stretch too much as always. And the mirror, this mirror won't need a lot of post tee because we're not, we're not killing it as far as the stretch goes. We're conforming this material. So let's see if I can lift the mirror up and give you guys a better view from the bottom. It also gives me a better view on the bottom. All right, so what I wanna do is put, cut some of this out, give myself a bit of relief. And we're gonna try and do a larger section right now. I'm gonna hold the film. Doesn't have a lot of pullback. And just kind of figure out what the best way is to get the wrinkles out. I've, I've done one of these mirrors a long time ago. I don't really remember how it went. I know it was hard. I think that's back when I thought everything had to be one piece. So, I don't think I did an inlay on the inside there. It probably failed. So we need to come in more here. Sorry if I'm in your way. I'm trying to get this done and show you at the same time. It's difficult. Once I get the film around the edge and on the inside, we can start post heating the hell out of it on the inside. That way we don't have any pullback. So it shouldn't pull back. And if you really need to, you can put another piece on the inside to hold it all down. That's another trick. It's not really a trick. It's just what a lot of, a lot of installers will do. And there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm trying to keep it as cold as possible, but just give myself some workability with the film really difficult to see underneath right you can see why we want this mounted to the to the car itself it keeps moving so I can't have it in the position that I wanted to have it in to show you guys so I'm just gonna do that as you saw probably from the beginning is I had my knifeless tape set up let's shrink this back So not a lot of pullback. I always let it shrink first before I stretch again. It's super important. I'm trying to see how I'm taking my fingers and spreading out the wrinkles. That's what we're always trying to do. 
spread out that tension. These are gonna look pretty awesome when they're done though, I'll tell you that. You'll see it in a moment. I'll probably be done this in about 10, 15 minutes. So I'm gonna start working the film this way. It just makes more sense. The way the wrinkles are running, it makes more sense to run the film in this direction. Perfect. As you get farther and farther under, no, I want my coffee, thanks, <laughs> yeah, that's cool, thank you. As I get further and further under, I'm gonna heat and shrink, make sure we're not stretching too much into any recesses and not overstretching the film. Trying to use my fingers because it just gives you a bit better control. Pretty excited to show you guys this. These are, these are like masterpieces when you do them nicely. It's a challenging mirror. It's not an easy mirror. All right, so I got some bubbling there. What I want to do is shrink that in. It's not bubbling, it's just that I haven't squeegeed it in yet. It's just a bit too much tension. So what I wanted to do is lift it off and then let it shrink. And then I might need my squeegee here. I do apologize if you guys can't see this. I do need to get the job done properly at the same time, so compromise, you know. here. Cool. Should be good. So before I fold the knifeless tape, I'm going to show you guys where we're at. All right. I'm going to post heat it a little bit around here. I've got a bit more tension over here. So I'm going to post heat it, making sure everything's locked in. Like I said, the Avery doesn't really want to stick to itself all that well. So I do have the overlap all the way around. Up here shouldn't be too bad. You'll know if you overstretched as well because you'll get, um, you'll, you'll change the color of the film. So it'd be pretty obvious. I do have to kind of let it cool a little bit. So now that we're here, I'll put the camera in a little bit. I'm gonna pull the knifeless tape on the inside so you guys can see. Is this stuck on something? A little bit. All right, there's my knifeless all bunched up down there, but it's fine. I'm gonna cut out some of this because you can't, you don't wanna try and pull the knifeless tape through all these wrinkles, all right? And I'm gonna flatten it out pre the knifeless tape, all right? So that way, when I pull the knifeless tape right now, it's got a nice way to cut. While the knife was tape, oh, I pulled the wrong one. <laughs> it's all good, because that's around the bottom anyways. Uh, where is the other one? I got wrapped up in here, here we go. So I pulled the wrong one, no big deal. I, I stopped soon enough, but I cut that string. So I'm gonna have to go from the inside of the mirror now. This is what happens when you have too many pieces of knifeless tape. So I'm just gonna go from the inside. Perfect, that's how that worked out, fine. Didn't ruin anything, luckily. And here we go. 
So let's get this wrapped up here. And then I want to finish off the inside of the mirror. So I have to go over where I pulled the knifeless tape out of. I have to go over that always. We get the inside finished off and then we're going to do, switch the camera around. And then we're gonna do the bottom piece of the knifeless, all right? So as I was saying, when you have all this tension here, what we can do is start bringing it in to the mirror and it'll start spreading out again, all right? Get this little wire in the way, let's tuck it out of the way. Sorry about the noise. So I'm cold stretching it. And I've got a couple of wrinkles in the corner here that I need to get out and around. So I use my thumb to apply pressure. You can see that I take the film, stretch it, and then use my thumb to bring it around. I don't want to stretch too much, right? We're just trying to get around this corner and make it pretty. See, use my, use my thumb. Also, no heat right now. Just getting, getting it ironed out. It's a little bit more difficult this side because I'm trying to keep out of the camera. But you get the idea. So now that I'm around, I don't have too much tension around the edge. I want to add a bit of heat and smooth it out. And make sure everything pulls back before I do any stretching again. And we're going to try and disperse a lot of these wrinkles. Like I said, once you have a lot of tension in this piece in here, we can lock it in with another piece afterwards. So don't worry too much about it. We're gonna go over here and post-heat it anyways. It would make more sense to do your inlay first, but we do our inlay in the mirror afterwards to hold this piece down. So I'm gonna have to get in your way for a second just so I can see. Making sure that I'm in as far as I wanna be before I throw some post heat at it. So I'm gonna leave all that excess in there and then just heat it up really good. And also what I want to do is do my do my knife list for this uh, bottom section, all right? I do have to clean up this edge here. Just trying to get a good angle on it so I can see it. To find it. up a little bit this little piece all right so that's way better all right guys I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what this looks like right now all the way around oh. 
So we're gonna have a look at the seams, okay? So let's have a look at the bottom seam. So I've done an inlay in here, right? There is a natural seam in the plastic right here. That's a natural seam. Nothing I can do about it. There's a stone chip over here, right there. Nothing I can do about that. And there's a natural seam also there that we followed all the way down with our first seam. Yes, it would have made more sense to probably put it on the inside of the mirror, but this is where the natural seam was. So that's the way the manufacturer did it. I try to always follow it the same way. Now, all the way around in here, we can see what that looks like. All right. So as long as the, bot the, long as long as the lines are smooth, it doesn't look bad. Yes, the natural body line is more down here where they seamed it. I did it a little bit higher just to make sure we have good durability on the raft, right? And then the inside here, I'm going to trim that out. Make it nice and smooth and then I'm going to put another piece on the inside to hold it all down. Super easy. I want you guys to see that. You want to see the front here? Let's check it out. Right in the bottom. And how well you can see with the light. Let's try and get the camera to focus. Cool. You can see all that, alright? I'm not trying to hide anything. Just smooth that out. Perfect. So I'm happy with that, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and post heat the inside to about 180, 190, making sure that we don't have any pullback. And then I'm gonna go slap that piece in there and then I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, take care.